time it was, now, yeah. Now, see, and particularly, here I am. I came from out of town. I, I didn't grow up here, so I didn't know all about... I, I, have, a, I have two pig stories. I'm going to probably have to go into one of them here in a minute to, <laughs> to make my point. But... Um, you know, it, it, was, it was also a social center, you know. You might meet some girls down at the pig. And, you know, people, kids today or, or anybody today, it was a totally different time. The idea of driving up in your car and somebody bringing you some beer to drink while you're sitting there in your car and then you drive on off, you know. I mean, we wouldn't even think about that today, you know. No. So... So, uh, all right, so I'm going to tell my first pig story. Go for it. <clears throat> Bobby, you remember my friend David Patterson? Certainly, yes. All right, well, David drove down here. He, he lived in Atlanta, and he drove down to spend a weekend with me pretty soon after I moved down here when I was living over on Callaway Street. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, so we went to the pig for supper that night, um, and we're, uh, David had a new car, I, I, now I can't, he had, he had pretty, pretty slick GTO, but then he, he also traded that not, not too long after for a, a 69 Riviera, and I'm not sure which of these cars we were in, but we were styling, you know, <laughs> we were down there in David's new car, and, and, uh, so we were parked next to a couple of nice-looking ladies in a car next to us, and we had been enjoying conversation with them for a while. And and <coughs> car hop comes out and and uh, checking on us, and David orders another round of beers for everybody, and the car hop brings them, and and David asked the girls if they wouldn't like to come get in the car with us, and one said. Oh, you obviously don't know the proper pig etiquette. <laughs> and <laughs> to which David rather quickly and unkindly <laughs> responded, Oh, are you the proper pig? <laughs> 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 but she was a nice lady, and I went out with her for months after that, for, for a good while, not nice lady. But anyway, um, but David and I joked about that for the pig etiquette, you know? <laughs> All right, so until yesterday, yesterday I'm talking on the phone to Trish Linden. Yeah. And she and John, you know, of course, grew up here and went to high school here, and, and I mentioned to Trish that I was coming down here today to take part in this documentary film about the pig. And she was telling me some story, and, uh, and she mentioned... The pig etiquette. Huh. And I said, what do you mean? She said, oh, yes, there was a very strict pig etiquette. And, and uh, uh, as she elaborated, I, th I think it basically came down to girls don't get out of the car. Girls can, stay in, the girls can go to the pig if they stay in the car. The boys could get out of their car and walk around and talk to the girls in the car, maybe even get in the car with them. But... But girls did not get out of the car. Now, I'm still trying to find the source of the of who wrote who, who wrote, wrote the code of etiquette for the pig, <laughs> and and I suspect it has its roots in you know they they had high schools here at that time where they segregated them by sex, and the boys went to schools and the girls went to separate schools, and so it was real novel for them to get together anyway. But uh, I expect it comes out of that, but. Somebody from Macon can tell me about that. Cause, but I, we joked about that until yesterday, and then I called David back, and I had to leave a voicemail. I said, David, there is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> uh.